YouTube above average code here today to talk all about the newest setting that we received in Halo Infinite with the last CU32 update to come to the game and that is actually the ability to turn off aim magnetism or aim assist if you will um, this was a very interesting ad to get so late into the game but yes you can in fact turn off aim assist if you go under your controller settings which I'll show you guys in a second here you can actually turn off aim magnetism which will lead to zero reticle pull for the right stick. Assuming you're on controller, you can turn off for KBM as well, which I believe has a little hint of aim assist um, default with the setting on. However, this is a very useful setting, especially for those that are looking for an interesting and fun way to train their aim, but also to help fix things like windmilling. And we're going to go through all of that in today's video. So if you guys have not already gone hunting for it for yourself, you can actually find the A magnetism clicker under settings go to controller under movement and aiming and the new setting is right here aim magnetism magnetism slightly pulls the reticle to the nearest target while firing this is literally your aim assist on off button and it's right under the last setting they added which was actually the zoom reset behavior so we're going to turn this off. We're going to jump into academy training, and I'm going to show you guys how this can severely improve your aim if you choose to practice with it off. And guys, if you have not already played around with this setting, once you turn this off, you absolutely do not realize what aim assist does for your aim Active on controller channel. until you turn it off. You have to be the most careful aimer ever with no aim assist on to get these kills. It takes a lot of left stick aim and the most gentle right stick aim you could ever imagine. And before you start thinking I'm crazy and start clicking off the video, guys, there is some rhyme and also reason to this. So believe it or not, way back on Black Ops 4, yes, a Call of Duty reference, I had pretty mediocre aim, I'd say. Not too good at all. I certainly... I wasn't the best player by any means, and what actually happened, to make a long story short, guys, I turned off my aim assist for zombies. I played multiplayer with it off for nearly a month, and guys, it led to me getting so frustrated losing gunfight after gunfight after gunfight. I thought there was something genuinely wrong with me, and then one day I went in my settings, and it turns out for an entire month, I had aim assist completely turned off. I turned it back on, and frankly, my COD aim has been significantly better ever since that little month-long experiment. So, guys, if you have trouble windmilling, if you have trouble over-aiming and under-aiming, I promise you, if you practice on a bot with no aim assist, and guys, I am not over-exaggerating here with how hard this is. You really do not realize how hard it is to get a kill with no aim assist until you try it out. So I promise you, try it out before you laugh at how my aim looks in this little sequence here. But guys, if you can master being very, like, precise with the right stick with no aim assist when you get back into game with the aim assist on you are going to be an absolute demon aiming because again aim assist does really do a lot for you especially in halo infinite and especially in modern call of duty actually it does a lot more than it used to but you don't realize how sticky the reticle becomes until you try it without. And I've actually talked about practicing without aim assist in the past in terms of doing a friendly bot in Octagon and just trying to shoot them because obviously, thankfully, you don't get aim assist on teammates. So guys, I fully encourage you to go into Academy and just try shooting the bot without aim assist. Um, but the biggest thing to remember is don't tweak your settings, you know, don't drop your sensitivity trying to go crazy um, being effective with no aim assist. Just use this as kind of like the, and the baseball batter practicing with a weight on the bat, right? If you can swing a very heavy bat, when you go up to bat with your normal weight bat, you are going to swing it faster, it's going to be much easier to swing, and it's like, it's basically preparing with... A handicap so that when you actually go into the real thing um it just seems ever so much easier and guys i think aim assist is like 
the no aim assist is like the biggest handicap you could pro possibly practice with here. And you could even take it one step further and you can you can be a fiend and turn your HUD off as well. And guys, you want to try fighting a bot with no HUD and no aim assist? It may actually be one of the hardest ways to get a kill in the game. Well, unless you just get a melee there and then just shoot them point blank. It becomes a little bit easier. But guys, trust me on this. Um, take other aim drills that maybe you already do. If you do an octagon warm-up like myself, I'll actually link down below to the octagon that I normally set up in case you're curious. Set it up, turn off the aim assist or the aim magnetism, if you will, guys, and just go to town and then turn it back on. Do not forget to turn it back on. And then go into a normal game, guys, and I promise you, you're probably going to see instant results. Even if you're not necessarily better at aiming from it, it's going to feel just so, so much easier, guys, because it is very hard to get a kill without aim assist on. And yeah, guys, nothing too, too crazy in this video. I mainly just wanted to point some attention towards the fact that you can now turn off your aim magnetism because A, for some reason, I don't believe they mentioned it in any of the Halo Waypoint posts, and B, it can actually be very useful in learning to really control your aim and being very careful with that right stick aim and also finding how much left stick aim you really need to help yourself be more under control with your reticle. Um, but yeah, guys, you can now turn off aim assist. That's kind of the moral of this whole video here. Um, use it to your advantage if you'd like or just frankly ignore it. I think it's more for KBM as well. They're able to turn it off now because I believe Mouse had an ever so slight amount of aim assist pull. And obviously, you don't really want that, especially if you play a lot of other games outside of Halo on keyboard and mouse where you don't really want that screwing with your muscle memory. So now you can finally shut it off. And again, it's very interesting to see something like this added so late into the game but it's kind of cool and again it's kind of fun if you want to add a little handicap for your warm-up or your aim training if you will and uh yeah guys let me know how you plan to use this setting down in the comment section but outside of that subscribe guys tons of halo content we're streaming it five days a week we're gonna be mixing in a little bit fallout 4 this week which should be a fun experience where you guys choose what i do in the game so guys, hit that sub button, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and of course, channel memberships and super thanks if you would like to support monetarily, and I'll see you out a lot as a content creator, but please do not feel like you have to. But alrighty guys, that does it from me. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.